good morning. It is April 1st, April Fool's Day. This year, better known as WrestleMania, the start to WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> I will be watching a lot of wrestling starting last night um, for the next few nights. It is 6.45 in the morning. <sighs> for some reason, I'm awake. Ooh, for some reason, it's really sunny. And I need to go to my storage, take everything out of my storage, and put it all back in, in a much more organized manner. <laughs> and in the process, take that microwave and a couple other things with me. So, what are you doing today? Look at me, I'm really doing it. I need to shave and lose 40 pounds. It is 29 degrees right now, but it's not windy. So I can deal with cold. I can't deal with cold and wind. It's the worst. I missed the gate. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I just want to have like a little workspace in here, be able to get to any box, you know, organize it, put the dressers against the walls. Huh. Yeah, it's just too damn cold right now. I mean, seriously, it looks nice, but it's not. Freezing the balls. So I guess I can try again tomorrow. Man, I'm freezing. My fingers are like ice cubes right now. Match, and again, I'm not taking anything away from the match. It's one of the. What should I accomplish today? Um, drop a load. I don't think anything's open right now. That's the problem. It's only 7.23 in the morning. There's always balloons up in the sky, no matter how cold it is. Those people are cold as freaking hell right now, man. I'm telling you. At the local come and go. I always like to come and go. Picking up another little thingy here for the road. It is a Thermocell Radius Zone Mosquito Repellent. I don't know when this is going to come in handy, but I have a feeling it is. All right. I'm at the safest of ways, and I need to plan out and buy my WrestleMania weekend cheat meals. Please remember to take your receipt. I remembered. Trying to put some notes on the outside door so the post office guy who's delivering my bag doesn't just go, oh, it's locked, and then walk away again. It's got my phone number on it. I don't like doing that, but it's got my backup phone number. So the only person that's going to call this phone, the one I'm actually talking into right now, will be him. last time ever in this apartment that I put a fresh trash bag in the trash can. I could cry. Look at that. There it is. I did it. The final trash bag, which just happens to be my last trash bag. So it's perfect. Worked out great. I need to shave. I don't like being all furry and nasty looking. Difference a day makes. 
Wow, is it nice and out. It's almost hot. <laughs> Out. It may not look any different, but it's way different. I have a little room here. Actually, set up a little desk. I didn't think about that for when, when I'm in town. Bring that nomad internet out here and uh, have a little office space. I got a boo boo. I got a boo boo probably because I use this finger quite a bit. Stuff needs to go in there. And in there is already kind of packed. Oh yeah, that's gotta go in there too. <laughs> Crap. I've gotta get rid of some stuff, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I'll get rid of some cleaning supplies. Do I need Windex? I mean, there's gas stations everywhere. Do I need bug and tar remover? I think I do actually. Because once you drive for 10 hours, insect and pest control, keep that around. Plus that stuff smells really good. Huh. Moment of, moment of truth. Wow. Really? I can't believe this. All I got rid of was a bottle of Windex. Uh, I got all that in there. I gotta go pick up a package from a locker. Amazon locker. Then the rest of the day is just spaghetti and Wrestlemania. <laughs> I'm doing an exciting thing I got in the Amazon package, huh? Mosquito repellent refills! Yeah! Oh, the show designed for the fans, by the fans, old school. The irresistible I see some dash cams in here, but that's kind of like what I'm looking for right there. I just don't see, uh... Oh, there's another one. Cool. There's some options. This is all that I need. It's not the best dash cam in the world, but it serves the purpose that I need, so. I'm, uh, yeah, you can do it on the phone. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. For some reason it has GPS. It's like a monthly thing I can pay for to get everything downloaded to it. Plus I can use an SD card, driver alert, security. This is good. Vitamin shop. Is this the ice cream one? Yeah, the vanilla ice cream That flavor. is so freaking good. It's it literally... is good. It blends really smooth. It's a delicious taste. I recommend that to a lot of people if they have taste issues. I like the name Jocko. Yeah, um, but it's really clean. It's a whey protein isolate. Glands and balance. The thing I think of is this. <laughs> your liver is your filter. It's really important for heart health. So I should be doing Coke every day is what you're saying? No! Or Coke no. Coke Q10. Oh, Coke Q, okay. <laughs> Buying beets and some Coke. Yep, some Coke. <laughs> uh, some Coke. Some of this stuff, which is delicious. Pretty high dose of Coke here, so. Every time I come here, I just want to buy everything. A pile of stuff. I got some, dropping some mad beets. A little whatever this is. I picked up those, my protein powder, dash cam. Yeah, man, good haul, good haul. All right, I almost forgot today is Sunday and I am going to go try to sell these Rick and Morty comics. Finally, these things are shot real quick. It was five grams of sugar between the two bites that you're supposed to take every day. It's supposed to be good for blood pressure and blood flow and all that. I guess we'll see, right? These are really good. Really sweet. Not too beady. You know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of the beets. I like beets. Not a huge fan of them. It's pretty good though. Oh, this is awesome too. Goodness. Oh, yes. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here I want. I'll show you the thing I want more than anything, and I may just get. With books. So I'm not allowed to come home. These guys. These are great. I brought some older stuff. A little bit of new stuff, but more. Yeah, so pretty much it's everything after the. These are pretty cool. Love this stuff. Oh, that's great too. 
everything wasn't in storage, I'd be buying a lot of these things. <laughs> Unnecessary comic collection. <laughs> and hello, unnecessary new toys. Oh, it, uh, you need some twenties. Hmm? These are 20s. awesome. Here, so Vault Thirty Five collectibles and more. Oh man, that's where all my comics are. If you want them, cool people in there. Cool people. I wish them all the luck in the world. I'm gonna come back and film a little commercial with them, and uh, just out of goodness of my heart, just beautiful. I spent hundreds of dollars on a dash cam <laughs> and some protein stuff and a couple like vitamin type things. Spent like probably 250 bucks on everything. And then I made that back. So I'm uh I'm alright. I feel alright about today so far. It's all kind of balancing out. I spent maybe I spent maybe 60 bucks today. Back to shirtless Brandon. You're welcome. Look at this. 1200 bucks a month. People wonder why I went out of here. You're kidding me. Oh, there it goes. Yep, you know I wasn't leaving without it. Bought it just so I can go sit in storage. Makes no damn sense. <laughs> but come on, they're awesome. I used to use this stuff back when I was a bodybuilder. That's a joke, I've never been a bodybuilder, but it just smells and tastes so freaking good. Almond milk, this stuff's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's a little dark in here since I've, uh... Cobra! Download the Drive Smarter app. Okay, I can do that. Mm, it's a pretty Cobra on there. Let's see, this works kind of the same way my other one did. Look at that. Yay, it's making some weird things going on. That's weird. Doesn't like being recorded with a phone. I plugged it into the Jackery, my awesome Jackery that works, which I charge three things and it's still at 100%. This is only taking one watt of power. Wow. Okay, two. Yeah, it's recording things. <laughs> this is awesome. It's recording a lot of things of uh, just me staring into the camera and whatever's on the other side of it. So good. Right, WrestleMania Sunday. There it is on the Peacock. Love me some Peacock. I think I have a lot more to do than I think I do. <laughs> I'm going to put all this in storage today. A lot of stuff in storage today. Sh uh, delivering things is becoming a real effing problem. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to leave Colorado Springs when I want to, which is on the 12th, I think. Today's the 3rd. My Nomad Internet system has not even shipped yet. Guys, I paid you $550. You could have... You know, <laughs> and I'm paying you 128 something dollars a month. Expediate that crap too. Jackery finally got in touch with me and that's awesome. I know they're busy um, and they're gonna send me another uh, thousand pro, I think, even though I have asked them for the two or 3000 pro. Um, not to be greedy, but you know, the answer is always no if you don't ask. I don't know where to send that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send it to a friend's house. Three, <laughs> my iMac bag. They tried to deliver it on Friday. This building sucks because they locked the front doors. I was home, <laughs> you know, they, you, you, USPS sucks because they did not call. There's, I have all of that stuff. My phone number's on the front of the damn building right now. Um, I, and they've given me no follow-up at all. All it says on the Amazon site is that, oh, they will try again. But you click on the tracking number, and all it says is, we tried to deliver once, and that's it. They don't say they're going to deliver it again. They don't say, come pick it up here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Did you receive any money from my phone? Uh, the answer is... Mr. Humphrey, you got... 
I like your moves. Thank you. Is that your moves? No. He's cute. He has a butterfly on his nose. He does have a butterfly on his nose. Mm -hmm. So you know technically you're a vampire, right? Mm -hmm. You love that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Yay. Okay, it only took an hour and 10 minutes to do about 47 seconds worth of work. <laughs> I didn't know people were making appointments and I was just a walk-in, so no complaints. This next time, if I have to do it next time, I'll make a damn appointment. Got my sexy little house over there. It's so cute. It's a cute house. So while I'm waiting on this package, I'm gonna take a couple trips down to the van, or maybe just break down some stuff. I have no idea. I can't just sit here and wait for these people. It's driving me absolutely freaking nuts going crazy in there. Ah, dash cam. I'm really happy about this. Yay! All right. Last load of laundry in this building ever. Actually got a hold of somebody at the post office down the street and he's looking for it. He's looking for my package. What a concept. For more information on Priority Mail Express Services from the United States Postal Service, visit us at www.usps.com. Oh, it's, it's, on a, it's on a truck right now? Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, awesome. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Thank you. Bye. I've been waiting here all day and it's just right down the street, like literally a block. They didn't tell me I can come pick it up. They said it would be re-delivered on the next deliverable day. So I would have waited here all day with no notifications. I completely forgot I was doing laundry. I was looking for my hoodie. Nowhere to be found. It was driving me crazy because it couldn't be. There's no place to hide. It was in the washer. I'm just gonna walk. It's like 150 yards away. I'm kind of pissed about this. I've wasted a lot of this day. That's a big box. All of a sudden, regret walking down here. Ugh. Why is this so big? It's a case for a computer. And it's padded, so it doesn't need to be padded. I, I don't know what's in this box. <laughs> it's a big box, boss. Watch this. Boom. So I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest with you. That fits right in here. And uh, I got a little shade and everything right there. and. Just, you can work right here. It's got a little work spot. This thing is awesome. Just threw away my last load of trash in this building. I'm so emotional. This looks a little ominous, doesn't it? One last, <laughs> one sharp uh, left right turn and I'm uh, eating a Breville. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to roll my window down. It's already down, Brandon. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to put in here, but it'll go. It'll go. Is that it for this trip? Yep. Here we are again. How many times have we gotten oil changes? Not recently though. I've not traveled in four months, so. Hi. <laughs> got about an hour to walk around and I'm gonna Sprouts. I don't know why, I'm just gonna go to Sprouts. It's every man Jack decided to stop making the citrus one, deodorant. They've been left. Let's see what Jason has. Watching a little bit of van, city van life.
Realizing quickly that my van life starts tomorrow. I've been doing it half time for the most part for the last year and a half. Two weeks at a time, three weeks at a time, one week at a time, whatever. And it's been wonderful. It's been the happiest I've ever been in my life. Will seven months, six months, seven months continue that happiness? Or will I just be like, okay, been there, done that, give me a house? I don't know. Decided to uh, stop napping <laughs> and hit uh, the Amazon hub down here where my grill has come in. So it's been a good day for getting packages. Look at that, you can't even see the mountains. That's so nuts. I don't know uh, what this is called, but it's, oh man. Definitely is dusty. Fire. It's my new grill. Yeah. Yay. This thing looks big. <laughs> I hope there's a lot of packing foam, just like with the iMac case. Portable gas grill. Venture from Cuisinart. Just in time for more wrestling. Three more hours. Look at this thing, though. Little grill. Comes in a little case, a little propane grill. It's got a little cutting board. This thing's awesome. Look at that. How cool is that? I can grill on the road. I'm excited about that. Good morning. I have one full day until I need to be completely out of here. One full day to get all this crap out of here. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably gonna wake up tomorrow and start knocking out everything. I am just, <laughs> got this one last tub here, sticking whatever goes. I got the coffee maker and the blink cameras and toilet paper, a coffee mug, some hand warmers. So it's kind of like the last, the last catch. Look at this crap. The day I move out is a, <laughs> 16 degrees with a high of 39. Great. Awesome. The next day's better, not much. I'm talking nighttime in the van, you know. And then uh, it just starts going crazy from then on out. Spring is here, and that's great, but yikes. I kind of want to throw up in my mouth a little bit right now. So I just had to pay that ticket. 86 freaking dollars for nothing. Gotta love it. Seriously. I respect most cops. Zero respect for this dipshit. All right, here I go dropping loads again. Got one more mattress to put in storage after this and my vacuum and that's it. vacuum that's everything I can't believe I got this uh, grill up here the top won't really stay on but that's okay and then I gotta get these guys in here somewhere I can't believe how much space is in this uh <laughs> just it's whatever can't believe how much space is in here it's been uh it's been up and down every highway in the United States in all kinds of weather the worst kind the rainiest the windiest and I've had no issues with it, so uh, that cargo box has been wonderful. What a great song. How does it feel when you're on your own? Like, not a complete unknown. I've never been a big Bob Dylan fan, but this song, Like a Rolling Stone, is uh, hit me in the freaking feels right now, man. How does it feel to be on your own? A complete unknown like a rolling stone. I think people know me. I'm not a complete unknown. As you can see, I'm at the biggest of lots. That's where I bought these. But my little charging port has broken off and inside. So I'm hoping they still have some and I'm hoping they exchange it. I stuck them in the corner, huh? 
And this one's a uh, wow, well, they're cheaper. All right, there, there's a bunch. There's different ones now. There's this one. It's a horrible looking color scheme. It's like the same thing, but different brand. Do I buy one of each and see uh, which one's better? I bought this new mug with this like sticker because it fits perfectly over there. This sticker is an idiot. Like, ugh, come on. Oh, oh, there's a big piece. There we go. Oh, goodness crap, man. So empty in here. <laughs> Looks like a drug house. I'm naked again. I know. It's my Stone Cold Steve Austin cup, which I've had literally forever. If I sound somber, it's because I'm relatively pissed off right now. This nomad internet. I talked to them a week and a half ago when we ordered. God, I'm gonna. Hmm. Anyways, ordered a week and a half ago. They said usually ships on Fridays, and it's usually a week after that. And they said it would probably ship last Friday. Didn't get any shipping information. Um, then they said, oh, if it doesn't ship Friday, then, you know, it'll be Monday. Okay, cool. And then it takes a week. I'm like, okay, cool. I can do that. I'll be here. Just got off the phone with them. Three weeks. Got my uh, got my tray back. What am I hungry for? I take a little bite of everything. Heart of Jerusalem's awesome though. If you're in Colorado Springs, you got to go to Heart of Jerusalem. It's my extra flatbread. I love flatbread. This is heavy, so this must be uh, another step towards heart disease, but delicious step. Oh yeah, the ultimate plate. It's so ultimate. Oh, you got these little heart-shaped falafels. You got some chicken. You got some uh, gyro meat, hummus, a little salad over here. Good dressing on it. So of course, <laughs> when I come out here to do a little work, it starts snowing. It's supposed to be 80 next week. But the night, my last night in the apartment, and tomorrow is supposed to be freezing cold and snowing. It's whatever. Suffer a little bit, you'll appreciate the good stuff later, right? Right. Found a hat since it's snowing and my head was cold. I got pretty swifty in here, I'll tell you that much, because uh, everything is almost where it needed to be. I didn't bring that big cooler it is now housing my shower curtain. <laughs> and I got everything else in here. That's awesome. Damn, I still have room right there for another Jackery, just for another one of these big bad boys. And then I have uh, the Nomad, which I'll probably stick on top of that whenever the F that comes in. Shoes. I have a pair of boots. I have a pair of nice shoes. I have a pair of running shoes. And I have a pair of these shoes. And I have a pair of flip-flops and they all that is becoming a problem I put the boots in the overhead case and that's it nothing else can fit in there nothing even remotely close to anything can fit in that cargo box forever and a day the only thing I have to left put down here is uh, my little vitamins and blood pressure medication and stuff but otherwise I filled the fridge with everything that was in the bag and I'm uh, pretty happy. That's right. Just, just don't try, you know? Okay. And I brought my bananas for some reason. Good deal, because I really want a banana. Both refrigerators are running right now. I'm hoping this one gets down to temperature. It's been plugged in for a minute, and it's uh, not exactly cold in there. So, ooh, that was almost a travesty. Some Turkish coffee I got at Heart of Jerusalem, so good. That one down here, the Road Pro little cooler thing is cranking. 
That thing is just like, mm, I'm getting stuff cold. It's nice and cold in there. I tested it. Look us up on uh, ASY TV, which is, uh, don't look us up, but go get ASY TV. It's on Roku. It's on uh, ASYTV.com. Asai TV is what it's pronounced as. Um, that's how I make my bread and butter. It's five bucks a month, people. It's a streaming television. A lot of people you know are on there. A lot of people you, you, you'll get to know are on there. I'm on there. Everybody's on there. Uh, it's been my life for the last, just as long as I've been in that apartment, even longer actually. So go get it. It's five bucks a month. What are you waiting on? If you got Roku, it's great on Roku. It's really good on the uh, website as well. Oh, Heart of Jerusalem. Oof, goodness. Anyway, um, so do that. Like and subscribe on here. That's free. Hit the notification bell. I, I do videos every Monday and Friday. I'm going to keep trying my best i may have to pop in some live streams or something in there just to uh fill the gaps because of nomad internet's dumbass and how they're screwing me big time by oh it'll be there in a week <laughs> three weeks i can't even get it until i get to phoenix okay this sucks it really does suck so anyway um <laughs> i'm just gonna put that out of my brain stop complaining about it because there's nothing i can do so, uh, also go to Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. It's Patreon, Asai TV Life or something like that. If you want to help us out, uh, you can be part of the adventure. It's three bucks, ten bucks. One of the two, ten bucks gets you like road souvenirs and postcards and things every month. And I will be grateful, very grateful for you helping us out. And um, it took me a lot to set up a patreon account because i don't want a handout but then somebody else who has a patreon account and does very good at it and has a very successful youtube channel made it very clear that you are offering entertainment <laughs> you are something that they want to watch every week some people do i'm hoping our numbers grow because i'm going to turn this from a personal thing into a adventure tv youtube thing and hopefully we can it's already monetized so we might as well use it um but yeah, if you uh, if you want to help us out, go to Patreon. You'll get to all the stuff first. Like, because sometimes these videos go a week or two ahead of time. And like, by the time you watch it, <laughs> the whole game has changed. Uh, but yeah, go to Patreon. Links in the description. And uh, give me a high five. Have a good day.